got a jacket from the 1939 All-Star All-Pro NFL football game. What position did you play? Well, it was my stepfather's. Okay. <laughs> I hope you don't think I'm that old. <laughs> My stepfather was very proud of making the all-star team, but I'd rather have the money in my pocket than have this jacket sit in the closet. My stepfather played the 1939 first all-star all-pro game. There was only 49 of these jackets given out that year. What a rough time to play football. Man, I tell you. <laughs> this is a time where pro football was still in its infancy. Leather helmets, minimal padding. Uh, right. I mean, these guys didn't get paid very much. I mean, back then, it was more of a game where if you won, you got paid. <laughs> I mean, right. college players would make more money than they would playing pro. Mm -hmm. Millions of people every week now watch NFL games, but back in 1939, the league was still finding its footing. If this jacket is real, I'm definitely interested in it. It's from the very first pro all-star game ever played. There hadn't even been an NFL game on television yet. What was your stepfather's name? His name was Joe Carter. I have to say, I've never heard of him. Um, you know, I don't know very much about sports from the you know, late 30s, 40s. <laughs> you know. um, so what do you want to do with it? I had found an auction somewhere where there was a jacket that had sold for about $5,000, and it was not even as old as this one. OK. Um, you know, if it were Joe Namath or something like that, it'd be, it'd be really easy. But, you know, 1939 jacket, you know, you got me kind of stumped here. Mind if I call a buddy of mine in? He owns a pretty well-known sports shop here in town. If anybody can really give me a value on it, it's gonna be him. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. That is really nice, man. I own Ultimate Sports Cards and Memorabilia here in Las Vegas. There's just such a demand we're seeing nowadays for a lot of the premier items from basketball, football, and baseball. So what concerns do you have with the jacket? You know, I've never seen anything like it before. Pro Bowl started at the end of the 1938 season. That was the very first one. At that point, it was the All-Star Game, where you had the championship team face off against the best players from the other teams. And this went on for only five years because of World War II. They discontinued it. So they only did these jackets for a couple of seasons, and you don't see them too often. This is quite a find. Where in the world did you get this? Well, it belonged to my stepfather. Um, his name was Joe Carter. He was also known as Willie Joe or W. Joe Carter. Sure. Joe Carter, I've actually seen his name in the record books. I want to say he led the league in receiving yards one year. Yes, he did. Being nominated to the Pro Bowl at that time in football was a mark of honor. Now, that's fascinating that this is now in your possession. I know. <laughs> so do we have any kind of written documentation? No, I don't have any written documentation. OK. Uh, well, I mean, there's nothing on here that says Joe Carter, right? Nothing no. I'm missing here? OK. You know, unfortunately, we don't have a smoking gun here, but first of all, we have the Wilson tag. Wilson did, in fact, make a lot of jackets uh, for the NFL during this period, and that tag is spot on with others I've seen that date this jacket back to the late 30s, early 40s. So based on your story and what I see here, I mean, I re everything seems to line up, and I would feel pretty confident to say that this is the 39 Pro Bowl jacket. So what do you think it's worth? Well. Game used jerseys of players from this era, you're talking $10,000 plus every single time. This, however, you know, it wasn't actually played in a game, obviously, it's a giant wool coat, but, you know, it was issued for the All Star game, which was a known event, so I'd say you're looking at a thousand bucks. Wow. If we were to tie this to Joe Carter, right. of course, that would up the value, being a known player of the time. All right, my man, I appreciate it. You got it, man. Thanks. I think anybody that is a sports enthusiast would be very proud to have it. But it's going to be really hard for me to sell this six months from now and be like, it was Joe Carter's jacket. His stepdaughter sold it to me. I hope you believe my story, because that's what you get with it when you walk out the door. You know, I, um, I'd give you like 800 bucks for it. I would like to go away with nothing less than $1,000 for it. Because you can look it up on the NFL, and his name is in there playing this game. You know, I never give what the appraiser says it's worth. But he did say there could be an upside to it. I'll give you a thousand bucks as long as you promise if you ever find a picture of him wearing the jacket, you send it to me. That's a deal. Deal? All right. All right. I'll meet you, you over there. Okay. Right you. I was able to get the top dollar, and that's amazing. Maybe I should do this more often. Wow. 
This thing is nice. This is a casting out. This is like one of the holy grails of American coins. I'll do 95 and that's it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm going to take it home.